Hey, Mercedes Paul Meyer here from Modus Athletica, and I've got another Tip Tuesday for you. So this week we're gonna be talking about precision, specifically hand-to-hand -hand hold precision. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the focus of attention. When it comes to precision, the brain really needs to take in a lot of information and a lot of calculations in order to help your body arrive at that final position. We can do a couple different things to make that process just a little bit better. So the first thing is the spotlight focus. So spotlight focus, as it sounds, is that you're really just targeting your eyes to one part of the handhold. And looking at that handhold just a little bit longer to take in enough information. Eventually, the spotlight focus, as you get really good at the move and all of the moves, in fact, when it's time to send your climb, you're gonna change the spotlight focus to a floodlight focus, which means that you're still looking at the holds, but you're really taking in all of this other information around you because climbing, obviously, we're not just focusing on our hands. We have to think about the rest of our body. So floodlight focus, you're using your peripheral vision to take in all of this other information. So make sure you're thinking about that as you're getting better at your movement. And it can also help you get into this flow state. Now, the next part of this is ticking holds. Ticking holds is something we often do outside. This isn't something that generally happens indoors, but it doesn't mean that you can't practice it. I really like to practice it indoors, especially for people who are new to ticking, because where you place the tick is going to change how you hit the hold. And we often lead a little differently with the fingers. Individually, maybe I lead more with the index and middle finger, whereas some people might lead with just the ring finger or maybe just the index finger. So where you place that tick is going to matter. And maybe you don't know yet which finger you lead with. By practicing this specifically, you're gonna know. Make sure that you brush off your ticks when you're done, especially outside. All right, so the next part of this is the coordination aspect. There's a lot of drills on the internet that you can find that works on coordination, but in this video, we're just gonna go over a couple. So the first one is what I call sticky hands. Are you adjusting your hand every time you hit a hold? If you're doing that, that means you need to work more on your precision. So make sure you're looking at the hold, you're taking in that information and then you're going. Sticky hands means you're gonna hit the hold and you're not gonna move your hand. Sometimes it might be a little uncomfortable and you're just gonna get better and better at this. Eventually, you're gonna be able to hit the holds exactly how you want them. Another really great drill is going dynamically to a handhold. So you could go one, two, so you're hitting one hand and then the other hand. This is a really nice drill to work on this coordinated movement. To make it a little bit harder, you can try to go both hands at the same time. And as you can tell uh, on the moon board, this is a little bit harder for me to do. You know, the moon board is at a 40 degree angle and the holds aren't great. So make sure that when you're doing this, that you're practicing on a terrain that feels really nice and comfy to begin with. And then you can start to make it harder and harder. Again, any kind of skill acquisition, you want to practice this on pretty close to your limit, at least your on-site, so that you're learning new skills. Now, the last component of precision, and this is probably the most important component, is visualization. You want to look at the holds, sequence everything out, and make sure you run through everything mentally and even physically, like you're mimicking your movement on the ground before you even go up onto the climbing wall. What this does is creates a movement map in your brain and your body before you have even stepped on. And if you have arrived at a very cruxy move, your visualization is really going to matter. The more you can visualize and see yourself succeeding, once you can visualize that and really stick it in your brain, that's gonna help your precision in general. Every climber really needs to get really good at visualization. It's gonna help you get to the next level. Once you're ticking the holds and maybe you're practicing these movements, try to figure out whether you're undershooting or overshooting, or maybe you're just hitting the handhold a little off. So if you're undershooting it, practice overshooting. So you have this target in mind, and then you take that target out about an inch. So in your mind, you're telling your brain that you need a little bit more effort to get there. Likely, you know, when we're looking at a hold, we probably are underestimating how much effort or how much dynamic movement we need to get to that hold. All right, so that's it for this week. 
I hope that this helps you get a little bit more precise in your movement. Give it a go. This is really worth the time, especially the visualization and practicing ticking. All right, so that's it. I'll see you next week.